Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today is a little short episode on a little cast iron find that Mrs. Backwoods made today. So y'all stay tuned. <music> Super awesome, my very first Wagner. Uh, it says zero there for the size, but it's like a 10 inch. There's a tag, 12 bucks. In cooking condition, but we'll probably improve on that. Okay, here's a little, uh, looks like a number five or number six pan, smooth inside. Got some markings on the bottom, but can't tell what it is. Got a pretty good crust on it. So over there, we got some charcoal going. We're going to go ahead and burn this one out. It's really thick on the bottom. Can't really tell what kind it is. Okay, so this one's not old. It's a huge lodge, though. Huge lodge. That's like a, I think that's like the 16-inch pan. There you go. $12. Okay, so we've been, uh, we threw that in there on some coals. Now, as you can see, or you'll fix the scene in a minute, a little six inch. That's one of your good old uh, made in Taiwan's. All right, not a lot of value, but it's still a good pan. It's smooth inside. That thing is completely stripped of its uh, uh, seasoning now. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it off let it cool down naturally When it gets to back to the warm state, we'll put some oil on it. And we'll start reseasoning it. This is the big uh, The big newer lodge. It has a little bit of rust in it So I just heated it up over here on a burner and use a little wire brush to kind of loosen up that um, Old rust and whatever so we'll also wipe that down With some oil once it cools off a little more this Wagner, I'm not touching that. I mean, it's beautiful. I, I'm, I will, I say I'm not touching it. I'm just gonna build on the seasoning that's already on it. Um, you know, it's got a little few little scratches and whatever in the bottom in the seasoning itself, but the pan is in great shape. Thin walls, just like the all the old good ones, Griswolds and Wagners. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna strip that. No way. So this is the little Taiwan pan on the inside after coming out of there. We did was use that little uh, wire toothbrush, you know, very uh, non-aggressive. Just loosen up the old season and get it all off of there. So that's first step, and then uh, we'll, like I said, we'll let it cool down a little ways so we can handle it, and then we'll uh, start. We'll wipe it out first, real good, and then we'll put the first coat of new oil on it. Same with this uh, big lodger. So what do you do when you get a great old vintage pan like this? The season is still pretty awesome in. There's no rust on it anywhere. I'm saying don't do anything. Just keep seasoning it. Uh, why would you start over on something like this? Well, this guy's still hot. We just fold it down with a canola oil and I flip it upside down on top of the propane burner. I got that on like a medium heat. So we want to set at least uh, one coat of seasoning on it just to keep it from rusting since it's completely bare cast iron now. So we kind of did the same thing with this great big new lodge. Just rubbed it down with a little bit of oil just to keep it from rusting anymore. And the bottom looks pretty good. It's got a watermark on the bottom. I know it got a little bit wet. Um, I'm still deciding whether or not we're going to sand the bottom out of this one like we did the back was gourmet special right up here so it's only been a few minutes and you see how dark that that oil is getting on that skillet already just on the propane burner so we're kind of you know we inverted it kind of holding all the heat up underneath it and this is the way I like to do kind of my first initial seasoning on these pans 
Uh, my house, if I put it in the oven, it's going to set all the smoke detectors off. Uh, right here, the, uh, our Concord double burner propane stoves right here. We're next to the grill, we're making some grills with chicken over there. So, just the first uh, round. It's easy and convenient. Let's do it like that. Uh, had it upside down and we rotated the, the handle all the way around the clock. Starting to get really black, so we flipped it over with uh, using our uh, our Dutch oven hook. You know these Dutch oven hooks also fit in these handles perfectly. So we flip it over and we uh, hit it with just wiped it real quick with uh, more vegetable oil on the other side. That's kind of quit smoking. And you see how beautiful that pan looks already after just being bare. It burned off a little minute ago um, and you know I think this uh, made in Taiwan cast iron from back in the, the 50s you know most of this was 50s and 60s era kind of gets a bad rip I think it's uh, it's pretty nice anyway that's looking pretty cool we'll uh, finish this up so there you go, there's three new members of the Backwoods Gourmet Cast Iron family. Total strip out, little Taiwan pan, six inch. I think that's gonna be a great egg pan right there. Uh, beautiful antique Wagner Ware. I'm doing nothing to that, okay? We're gonna use that as is and then this huge like 14 or 15 inch newer lodge pre-season pan but a monster okay we may actually sand this out I haven't decided yet to get a smooth bottom on it at least total cost all three pans $34 Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. I wish you really hit that like button right down there. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, it's right over here to see our last video. It's right up there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking with maybe some of these guys we just showed you, it's right up there. We'll see you next time.